Today, we cover some interesting info on a subject not talked about much. White holes? In a nutshell, they are the opposite of black holes. Well, if they exist, they are theoretical cosmic regions that function in the opposite way to black holes. Just as nothing can escape a black hole, nothing can enter a white hole. It's only in the moment when things come out that you can say, ah, this is a white hole, said Carlo Rovelli, a theoretical physicist at the Centre de Physique Théorique in France. Physicists describe a white hole as a black hole's time reversal. A video of a black hole played backwards, much as a bouncing ball, is the time reversal of a falling ball. Objects inside a white hole can leave and interact with the outside world, but since nothing can get in, the interior is cut off from the universe's past. No outside event will ever affect the inside. They are theoretically twins. It took 40 years to understand black holes, and it's only recently that people have been focusing on white holes, Ravelli said. Wait, we have questions. Let's ask an expert. Joraint Lewis is a professor at the University of Sydney who specializes in the use of the phenomenon of gravitational lensing as predicted by general relativity to probe the structure of the universe. So, Professor, what are white holes? He says, white holes emerge from the solutions of Einstein's theory of general relativity devised by Carl Schwarzschild in 1916, just a year after the theory was first published. Schwarzschild was the guy who wrote down the mathematics that describes black holes in the universe as completely collapsed objects. He had to make a choice. There is nothing in general relativity that dictates which direction time flows in. So as well as a black hole, the mathematics of Schwarzschild also gives us a white hole by just flipping the way that time works. Okay then, what could astronomers look for to discover a white hole? People think that this would be a place where things would be ejected with lots of energy. Scientists like Roger Penrose theorize that a white hole is like an exit for a black hole in another universe. So, material would fall into a black hole in one universe and would get ejected into another universe via a white hole. Well then, how do we know white holes exist? While general relativity describes white holes in theory, no one knows how one might actually form. Even if large white holes did form, they probably wouldn't hang around too long. Any outgoing matter would collide with the matter in orbit, and the system would collapse into a black hole. And here is what he says when asked why white holes might exist. How does a black hole die? We don't know. How is a white hole born? Maybe a white hole is the death of a black hole, Ravelli said. The two questions join nicely, but you have to violate the general relativity equations in the passage from one to the other. Alternatively, the aftermath of a white hole may exist everywhere. To black hole physicists, the Big Bang's explosion of matter and energy looks like potential white hole behavior, Haggard said. The geometry is very similar in the two cases, even to the point of being mathematically identical at times. Well, my mind is blown, I'd never heard of a white hole until today. I suspect you haven't either. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, share, and subscribe to encourage us to make new content. Thanks again for watching.